really excited to tell you all about our new attachment, the Spiralizer. The Spiralizer will be part of the Thermomix cutter, so you need to have a Thermomix cutter. And as you can see, it is attachment that goes below where you would normally have the blade on the cutter. One thing to be very important is you have to see the blade through there. And then we pop it on the lid as we would with the cutter. And there you go. It will have a slightly different shaft, kind of cushy thing, because now we're going to pop the vegetables on here. So let me show you how it works. We're going to go to the functions. Now you should have had an update already where the spiralizer has been added. So we're going to press on the spiralizer. You have got some instructions here. So just remember, we're going to get rid of those now. Um, you can always find instructions by pressing on the I for information on every function. Now, the spiralizer couldn't be easier to use. I'm simply going to grab this courgette, pop it on here, okay? So as opposed to the cutter where the vegetables go in here, with the spiralizer you put the vegetables at the bottom. I'm going to turn the speed selector and I'm just going to pop this through here. Let's stop that for a second. You will be left with a tiny little bit at the bottom. I tend to save this to use for my vegetable stock, so don't throw them away, pop them in a bag, pop them in the freezer, so you can make your vegetable stock. Let's try another one. So pop it in there, turn the speed selector on, and we're just going to press it down. Let's press the selector to stop. And again, oh my gosh, look at that. This has another little bit left off at the end with a funny thing at the bottom. Now just remember to save these to use for your vegetable stock or to make soup as well if you'd like to make soup, but never throw these bits away. Okay, let's have a look what's actually inside. So this is your bowl and look at that. <gasps> let's see if I can show you better like this. Look at that. That is how awesome the spiralizer is. Now in the booklet inside the box, you'll see that there are recipes, instructions, and if you go to Cookie Do, there is a spiralizer collection already that has amazing recipes for you to use, whether it's courgette, whether it's uh, slicing as well. Um, I think there are recipes with pear and apple. So there's a variety of things you can do with the spiralizer. Personally, I love it. I love to saute my courgettes um, with some butter and garlic and then I'll put the mushroom bolognese on top and it's just such a healthy meal. You won't be missed pasta at all. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.